Hi, in today's video, I'll be going over vegetables that are low in potassium for those on dialysis. Hi, I'm Jonathan Diaz, a registered dietitian working with patients on dialysis. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus solely on putting videos for those who are on dialysis. So that comes down to recipes, also educational videos like the one today. And it'll be about vegetables low in potassium. Before we go any further into the vegetables, please talk to your doctor and your dietitian every month or every week, every two weeks. To know what your potassium levels are because you have to know what they are it can be too high or too low you've got, you've got to know where you're at if it's too low you can have more more vegetables that are high potassium if your potassium is too high you gotta have less right so it's good to know and the ranges are for your potassium are from 3.5 to 5.5 remember that 3.5 to 5.5 that is the goal let's get oh actually forgot a few more things there are five things that may cause potassium to go up and there's, and there's many other reasons but the five that i know number one high blood sugar high blood sugar uh, will will lead to high potassium in your blood number two some medications for blood pressure so not all of them some may cause high potassium so it's good to know your numbers number three constipation constipation will lead to well high potassium number four internal bleeding bleeding from either from your gut from your colon into your small intestine to your stomach to your esophagus and practically anywhere it doesn't happen as often but it can cause high potassium and number five the things you put on your plate that go into your mouth the foods, of course, the foods, the foods, the foods will cause high potassium. Okay, so let's get straight into, into the list of vegetables. We got arugula, we got some bean sprouts, we got some broccoli, yes, you can have broccoli. Cabbage, chili peppers, coleslaw. Oh, just naming these vegetables making me really hungry. <laughs> Carrots, cauliflower, so yeah, the list is getting better, right? Celery, chives, corn. Yes, corn. You can have fresh corn. Of course, um, if you try to have like products with like corn that's made out of corn dough, like masa, that's using um, that's using corn tortillas mm. and tamales. Those are very concentrated and potent in phosphorus, so it's best not to have. <clears throat> it's best not to have those. But fresh corn, definitely, you can have those. Cucumbers, chives, endives. Celery, if I forgot to mention celery, celery. Also ginger, ginger root, green beans. Ah, whether it's canned or fresh, yes, you can have the green beans. Jalapenos, jicama, lettuce, mushrooms, mustard greens, onions, parsley, peppers like green, like green, red, orange, um, red bell peppers. Those are delicious, especially make fajitas. Yeah, the bomb. Green peas. We got some radish going on in that in that in that list of ours. We got some good radish. Snow peas, spinach, turnips, watercrusts, wax beans, and last but not least, zucchini. Whoa. Malfunction. Sorry, it's my watch coming off. <laughs> See, even my watch couldn't couldn't even like handle the zucchini it was just pfft, zucchini so now that's the list of uh, vegetables that are low in potassium what you can do is if you have any questions leave some leave a comment down below or leave a question asking me what about this vegetable prepared this way i don't mind answering those questions at all now uh there might be some vegetables i might not have listed in this video it'll be down below in the description also check out my Instagram page and my Facebook page and I will have a list of these vegetables on, on, on my pages so you can find it there so you don't, you don't have to keep re-watching this video and again thank you for coming by and watching this and if uh, please 
to show more support and for my channel to keep on growing, leave a comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It means the world to me and it will actually help my videos get better and better over time. Thank you and have a great weekend.